Has this ever happened to us before? Have we ever been back to a place where we've been for quite a while? No. Never. This is the first time, right? First time. The first timer! We are first timer. First time going back to some place we know. Weird. We people celebrating all day from our homeland Like my old man said, there's nothing impossible So we have to bring this message to my brother Lyrical Straight from the crew, out to the blue We represent the voices of my ancestors calling And I was getting more than my culture is falling Now we have a step up for the past 20 scholars No one can stop, ain't nobody gonna stop us People, everybody, would you listen to Previously on Delos we sail into the beautiful Nozihara Archipelago for some amazing diving and exploring. Headed south. So our next stop is Nozimitsuo. Mm -hmm. What is it? 40 something miles, but. 40 something. 40 something. So we were on our way south towards Nozi Bay. One of the main reasons we came back to the Indian Ocean this year was because of Madagascar, and specifically the island of Nozi Bay. We spent about three months there last year and fell in love with the people, the culture, and the island vibes. Ooh, we're on the coast of Madagascar, Kaza. The it's wind down a bit, huh? The wind started. Oh uh, yeah, but our normal, what we like, started at 12 o'clock, just like it's supposed to. Nice onshore breeze, like 10 to 15 knots. It's beautiful. Yeah. How's it going in the kitchen, Josh? Good. We were making some pad thai today. Ooh. Yeah. Pad thai. Pad thai. Kapun it's my ka. first time cooking <laughs> while the boat is moving. I might have some sea legs. We'll find out. Salty now. Do we have everything in this recipe? No. <laughs> it's it's just, like half of it's the ingredients. It's just a guide. <laughs> half of the ingredients. Yeah. <laughs> like usual. What? Pop into the store and get you the other ingredients. Yeah, or let's just go to the store and grab the other ingredients. <laughs> Gotta be a Publix nearby. All Publix stuff. <laughs> we might have a fish on the hook. Maybe. Something on there. Really? It's going deep. It's going deep? Gotta go deep. That's a Publix service. I think it's a wahoo. I'm feeling wahoo. Or a skipjack. I don't know, but we need to be prepared. Ready? Whoa, it's a pretty good size. Oh, dude, I think it might be a walk. How excited yeah. are you? <laughs> Whoa, it's a big one. No, it's a walk. No, it's a walk, dude. It's a walk. Oh, yeah. That's That is a good That's a, fat. That is a fat. Water. That's a healthy fucking fish. So now we have to try and fillet the fish as we're sailing and beating up wind. And it's Kaza's turn. Where do you want it, Kaza? Head, head towards the bow. We've decided to half wahoo, half mackerel fish. It looks very similar to a wahoo, but not. It's a whack of wahoo. Look at the size of this fillet. Where is it? Thank you. Unwillingly sacrificing your life for our dinner. <laughs> oh, I was gonna get caught on the lure. <laughs> ah, look at this sunset, guys. It's very nice. Freaking fantastic. That's what I'm talking about. We're taking this question. <laughs> Who knows where the wind will take us? Don't have are to be happy there? with that. Are we there yet? We're not there quite yet. So we're most likely get in there at dark, huh? So we're gonna go like <whistles> boop and see if it's a good day. Otherwise we go <whistles> boop day. <laughs> what is Mr. Brady doing? Sleeping, I think. Sleeping. Look at him. 
Yeah, he's like a little bear. Laying on the fucking coast again. Like 15 kilos and a bowl of food next to him. Halfway to Nozi Bay, we decided to stop for the night at Nozi Mitsuo. It seemed like a good idea to rest at a calm anchorage and break the passage up into two days. The next morning, we would have about seven hours of sailing to cover the last 30 miles. Good morning, guys. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening? Are we heading to Nosy Bay today? We are, man. Nice. Brian and I got up, got on the way at 6.30. Nice. Fishing line's already out. It's your day. It's My your day. day. What's happening, guys? Got a fish on. Oh, it's a hard to pull. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I think it's all right, bro. So we're getting really close to Nosy Bay again. We're gonna be in Crater Bay in like probably 40, no longer than that, maybe an hour and 40 minutes, two hours. And it feels totally bizarre to be back here. Like, I mean it's a year ago and it's just awesome to come back to a place that we've already been and all the people that we're gonna meet again and it's gonna be so cool super excited and our fridge is absolutely empty so it's gonna be good to get some fresh veggies and because the water maker is broken and we have like probably maybe 150 liters of water left it's gonna be really good to top it up so. you just jumped overboard <laughs> Camilla <laughs> Uh, our water maker is kind of not doing so well. So, being conservative. Salt water shower! Yeah. Nice on a day like this. Perfect. Yeah, it's nice and sunny. Very nice. How do you feel, Brady? We're almost back in Nosy Bell. We're almost around the corner. It feels good. It's kind of the whole reason why we came back to the Indian Ocean this year. For Nosy Bay and our friends that are there. We have friends there. We're gonna go see people that we know, say hello to, have a beer with. I know. We know the anchorages, we know where the good restaurants are. Crazy. It's a weird feeling to know something familiar. Has this ever happened to us before? Have we ever been back to a place where we've been for quite a while? No. Never. This is the first time, right? First time. It's the first timer. You feel good, Brock? Yeah, it's awesome. This is like what we've been looking forward to yeah. for almost a whole year is getting back to Nosy Bay. Because the whole area is just so fantastic. Good anchorages, sweet spots, cool wildlife, nice weather. It's a good one. It'll be good. And there might actually be people to hang out with too. Oh, other cruisers. Other cruisers. Cruisers. Cruiser scene. We could get so excited when we see other boats now. And you're at Look at us, we're really close. All oh, the times we've been in that. I know. Broke <laughs> 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 They're back, huh? They're the back. boats. So beautiful. It's like the only place we've been where they still sail for commerce. 
you know? They don't have the engines, they just cruise back and forth between Nosy Bay Island and the mainland. And they carry like palm fronds, they carry sand, they carry dirt. It's the weirdest things. They make their sails out of like anything. And most of them have holes in them. Just feel, look at this guy. It's like sometimes more holes than sail. <laughs> After over 6,500 miles of sailing, and almost a year later, we are back in Nosy Bay, Madagascar. One of the most amazing things about sailing is the amount of incredible people you meet along the journey. This also has a downfall, as you constantly have to say goodbye and sail away as the seasons change. For once in our seven years of cruising, we were returning back to something we knew and some amazing friends. been a good morning so far and we are headed out with Noisy B. Karen, where are we going today? We're going to, I <laughs> can't remember the name of it, a little island out there. There's some island out yeah. there. <laughs> you can see it, it's very close. Yes. So we just got to the island here. It's quite nice, right Ree? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one beautiful island. weather. Tenekili. It's really cool how the visibility around this island is always clear and it's like yeah. shit everywhere else. So you've got like at least 10 or 15 meters of vis. And we saw like turtles last year we were here and all kinds of good Patugas. stuff. Turtles. Mm -hmm. So we're hoping for turtles and nice fishies this time too. I'm Are you excited? excited. Yeah. <laughs> it looks really cool. Super beautiful and super fair. And you can really see how clear it is. You can see the chain going down to the bottom. Are you ready?
we've made it to Tanahili Island, which is actually a really sweet little place. It's beautiful. And it's only about three miles from the main Anchorage and Crater Bay. So you can get out here in like half an hour and uh, it's just beautiful. It's not big. The water viz is crazy. We've got like, you know, 10, 15 meters of viz, whereas most places it's only like two meters. So we did a little dive today and um, yeah, it's just been beautiful. Now we're exploring on the island a little bit. And did you see the lemurs in the trees? Yeah, I was looking at this one that I see too. Cutie. Did that kind of what are you guys doing here? Trying to have my breakfast. Do a lemur jump, lemur. Oh, hey. Yay! Oh, I found bananas. He's like, oh, what do you have? What do you have? I want, I want. They're pink. <laughs> they're cool though, huh? <laughs> yes. Okay, Eating in the sun? How cute are they? They're really not. They're pretty cute. It's cool to see them here. They just come out of the trees. Huh. After sitting still for a while, they can just... What are we doing, Camila? I'm just making the play, starting the party, and you know, all these things. <laughs> Look at this crazy bitch. <laughs> 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 you think? She knows how to circular breathe. Nice one. How oh, much does it cost for a pirate to get his ears pierced? No, 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 no idea. What does it cost? It costs a buccaneer. What does a pirate's favorite letter? I don't know. I don't know, sir. I guess you bet utter. But it is. An umbrella. Cause it's raining hose, bitch. <laughs> or <laughs> for drizzle. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us, Brady. So Tell us about this. Nosy uh, Momoko, and we were here last year. This is where they were putting the local boat in the water that took like. Well, we were here for three days as they were putting it in, but I don't even think it ever got in. Um, but there's lemurs here, and there's an old turtle, and it's a really cool village, so it's cool to come back and see the same place again and go explore. So we're gonna go in and check it out. Hopefully the lemurs are still there. I got pockets full of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> we're, gonna feed, we're gonna try and feed the lemurs. Nice. Yeah, probably. Awesome village. So Greg, last time they they had the boat they built, were. it was finished way up in that corner, and they, <laughs> they had to drag it this way around these trees here, like make this angle, and then come into the water. And the period of like three days, they got to like they moved it like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, it was right next to this uh, one. big lines tied around it, and like we were all pulling on it, and everybody in the village was pulling on it. And it would go like this far, and then and the, the, the stern would dig in. in. But it looks like they are building it in the same spot now. Yeah, they're building yeah. a new one. <laughs> so they must have gotten it in. More or more. Yeah, I think it maybe took it a couple weeks or more something. More or more. <laughs> yeah, about Found one. Hide away. <laughs> <laughs> you can smell your banana. What am I? What am I? Madagascar is very famous for its lemurs. These primates look like a strange mix between a cat, a squirrel, and a monkey. Today, Madagascar is home to over 60 different species of lemurs. 
They are free to roam, they have no natural predators, and have an abundance of food. As you can see, they live peacefully with the villagers and are super friendly and used to human interactions. Life for a lemur around here isn't all that bad. <laughs> what have you had in there, Mr. Brady? Bananas. He's really excited. He likes the bananas. Thank you. <laughs> How awesome are they, huh? No. Like their fingers are soft. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I know you have some somewhere. New friend. Uh, He's just like a little jumper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you go straight for it. Whoa. <laughs> we're on the on the search too. We just got our lemur action. Now we're on the search for the massive turtle. And the story behind this turtle is he's been here for like oh 200 God. years or something like I that. I see him. You see him. Look at him. He's massive. He even has, if this is the one, he has bullet holes and scars from when uh, the country was at civil war and he got caught in some crossfire. No way. Yeah, look how massive he is. And you have seen some stuff, huh? Wow. Oh, feel that scratch. I think he needs a bit of some bud. He's got cataracts. Why do they live so long? I don't know. It would be cool to know like what their what their heartbeat is if it's like so super, super, super slow. Super slow. Yeah. It's very. He likes the what? <laughs> Circus egg. Hey, that's a big one. Never seen a lemur crawling on a turtle. <laughs> Job. it's so cool carrying one of these around and we always leave it on the boat but today we remembered to bring it in and it's so cool to get pictures with the kids and for the kids mm -hmm. so just be able to give it to them right away yeah, yeah. like Here, here's a photo of you which who knows if they've ever seen themselves besides a mirror oh, Drying fish. This completely self-sustained village is home to about 80 people. It's a very different world from what we're used to. And for us to be able to spend time here with such happy, humble people is an eye-opening experience. Traveling isn't only about seeing new places. The people we meet and learn from along the way is what makes the journey truly special. Today was a great reminder that our decision to come back to the Indian Ocean was the right one. Again. <laughs> go out and eat something? Yes. Back to the boat, act like it's raining, and, and watch a movie. We could also just sit in the jungle and listen to the jungle noises. Still a bowl? No, but that's part of the plan. Next up on Delos, we do some epic diving. We say a sad goodbye to Camilla, and we sail one last time with Greg and Cheyenne. <laughs> okay, sweet. First thing in the morning. <laughs> That's a wrap. <laughs> I like it a lot. 
Look at that. Look at it. Here he comes. Look at those pearls, huh? Oh no! <laughs> it always does that! And then one gets stuck and it thinks that it's full. <laughs> I'm taking y'all to sleep, Dan! <laughs> and they have a train ah. on tracks okay. in there and you can pee in it and then wash your hands. What do you what? think about that? We're gonna pee on a train? The toilet's in a train and they have a pizza.